Hello, it's Lou Collins. Today I've got a really fun pop-up card template for you. It's actually a pop-up slider card. Um, your template may look a little bit different to these ones, but the essential information on here, uh, all the templates will be exactly the same and will follow the same instructions as well. So just to show you what this template does, it's a card much like this one that I created using the Peacock Plume Collection from Textures. And uh, so it's an enclosed card. There's room for a message on the back. But when you pull the tab here, you get this pop up. There we go. Just like so. Really easy to do. Now, all you need for this is, besides the template, is uh, two pieces of cardstock. So you can actually, I think, you can almost you can just about get everything out of one sheet of A4 but today I'm going to work with two different coloured sheets of A4 so you can clearly see where I'm gluing and placing both the panels. Then you'll also need some sort of plastic or acetate. I've written acetate on the template but something like the clear plastic bags that you get with packaging is absolutely fine. In fact, the thinner the better for the movement. So I've got that. So we're kind of recycling at the same time. Then you'll just need some either tape or glue. I recommend a double-sided tape. It's less messy with a glue, like a wet glue. You do risk, of course, the glue seeping out and sticking to parts of the mechanism where you don't want it. So I've got a wide tape and a thinner tape. Doesn't matter if you don't have these thicknesses. I do recommend a thinner one because there's air Areas. So for example on the sides of the template here where you will need a thinner glue or, or tape um, but where I've got the wider one I'm just doing that for speed you can put a couple of strips of thin tape there and of course you're just going to need things like scissors, a bone folder, scoring board, uh, all your general craft tools. So let's get started now as always the first thing I'm going to do is use a spray adhesive this is a removable one and I'm going to spray the reverse of my templates and attach them to my cardstock. Then I'm just going to use scissors to just cut around these two big panels here. I'm going to leave the acetate or the plastic till last. So now I've cut round the edges of both of these parts, I'm going to bring in my scoring board and just score through the paper and through the template there, sorry, the template and the cardstock on three score lines. So you've got one, two, and let's line that up with one there, and three. So make sure you're going through all of those. So that's all you need there is those three. So what we can do now is remove, but it's really handy to keep this template to the side because you've actually got some explanations on there on where you need to be gluing. So um, that will just help you a little bit. So I'll pop this just here, just stick that to my mat. I'm then going to do the same on this one. So score my lines. There's one down there and I've got two at the side. So these are just tabs here. You can make these tabs a little larger if you prefer to. There we go. So we've got our one, two, three score lines in there. And again, you've got glue marks on here and you've also got back and front written on it. So you'll be able to gauge where you need to um, add your glue but also on the score lines I've put mountain fold and valley fold so you can work it out. Now this one in particular is three mountain folds when you've got it this way up and this long bit at the top is going to then be the reverse. Let's gently peel that. I put a little bit too much glue on there so gently remove that. So three mountain folds makes one and then gently because these are small pieces two and then three. Now with those three, you'll find you've then got your kind of pocket wrap as such for the card mechanism. So this is going to be the outside, this is the front, and this longer piece is the reverse. Now we can put this to the side for the time being because we need to work on the lilac colored piece. And that's the long one that doesn't have the tabs on the outside. But again, I'm going to keep my panels just stuck here so I can refer to them. Now for this one, what we're going to do, and it is written on the template, is your mountain valley mountain. So mountain is where you have the peak coming up, the valley, the peak goes down, 
and your peak comes up. So what you'll see is you've created, you've actually created a valley between two mountains there in the middle. Now, as it shows you on here, you're actually going to be putting uh, glue in the middle here. So you're going to be gluing these pieces together to create that little tab sticking out and a nice smooth finish here. This is where I bring in my um, wider tape. It's just much easier. So find the end of this the wider tape just to the edge of the score line make sure that's really well burnished down and I use my pokey tool to just release it and if we just squeeze that together pinch that and make sure that that's all glued in place okay so then what you'll also need to do at a later date is uh, add glue to this and it does show you whereabouts the glue is going to go that's for the acetate piece so we'll come to that in just a little while but what you need to do is just fold this enclosing that tab in there like so so what's going to happen is this is going to sit inside your wrap so the longer piece again at the back the shorter piece at the top and just check inside you've got a little tab there when that's all enclosed what you'll do is you will pull this out and you can see that just reveals itself and when it reaches here you can see that's already lifting itself up and what's going to happen is the acetate that's going to be glued just to here is going to get pulled taut and that's going to pull that really tight and allow that to kind of flip right out open right out and this to stick up so that's what we are going for so what we need to do now is our acetate piece or our plastic piece so bringing back that part of the template now I have actually glued this onto the lilac cardstock which I don't need let's put it onto here instead let's just find a nice clean piece of the plastic this is only a rough guide you don't need the plastic to be exactly this size but it is helpful if you can have it as close as now I'm cutting through two layers so I can feel one layer underneath is getting wobbly but we don't worry about that one we're only worried about the one the templates actually stuck to there we go again on here you have got glue so what we're going to do is take this just off there and I will put the acetate on top so you can see where it is now I'm going to apply one layer of glue just to one edge just one of these edges and it's not glue it is double-sided tape um, you won't very easily be able to use glue with this just make sure I'm cutting that quite tightly again burnish it down hopefully with that little template underneath you can kind of see whereabouts I'm putting it and let's release this leaving the sticky glue just on the plastic there okay now on the template let me bring in a fresh template for you just to show you how I've explained it on here so I've now got this temp this piece of acetate here with the glue at the bottom and I've done an arrow to show whereabouts that goes so it goes on the short side here now if we go back to how our mechanism works with the short side there and that pings up what you want to do is attach the sticky side down onto the top of this mechanism just here in the center like so okay so then you've got your plastic facing down the same way as everything else now what we're going to do is we're going to fold over this piece of plastic like so burnish that down most acetates and plastics will fold over absolutely fine and will crease and hold their shape if you're using one that you're struggling to do this with it's likely that that plastic is actually going to be too thick for the mechanism to work properly okay so now we want to put a piece of double-sided tape just on the top as well just at the top of that acetate there okay again just trim the end of that I'm trying to make sure I trim it so that no glue is showing 
burnish that down and release the top layer. Now we're going to bring this back into our wrap. I'm not going to press this down just yet. I've le left these side tabs open to give me the freedom to move this around. So we've got our long piece underneath, the short piece at the top, we've got our lip inside. Okay, again, short piece at the front here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this central, ensuring you've got a similar distance either side. And that's going to give you space for these tabs to glue to later if you want to do it that way. And we're just going to bring this down until it's level with the base of your card there. Okay, and when you're sure that that's just level there, you can press the green card down onto the acetate. And what should happen is as you pull this out, you'll notice that pulls that flat now. We, we didn't have that before. So that will tuck up in there. And notice that is all secured inside. But you tuck that in and you've got your tab ready to pull that out. And as you pull it out, just put a little bit of pressure on here as if it's glued together, just to check the mechanism. You pull this out, that starts to reveal. And as we get to this stage, there we go. It pops open, that's perfect, that's going to work fine. So tuck that back inside. You've got two options here. You can glue these edges and you can tuck them inside here for a really nice clean look, like so, just in there, or you can wrap them round and on the back. You will, of course, then see those tabs there, but what this does do is ensure that it's not going to uh, get involved with the mechanism at all. So I like to, or I prefer to put the tabs on the back so that I know my mechanism's free to move inside. Um, but then I can put another panel of paper or cardstock over the top on the back, uh, maybe something that's ideal for writing on with a greeting or sentiment on it, just to cover everything over. The choice is yours. Have a play with both versions if you like. So I'm just going to add glue or double-sided tape to each of these tabs and fold this over like so. And the same on the other side. There we go. So now that's all glued and sealed in. You can now, if you want to, trim this a little bit shorter. You could make it into a, a nice different shape, but it's worth experimenting with the mechanism part first, just with some plain cardstock if you've got it spare. Um, so you get used to how you're putting this together because then you can say, okay, so this longer piece, which on this template is the top piece, I might want to add a die to that first, give it a nice lacy border or something like that. And you can absolutely do that. So let's just try this one more time. So we pull that out and we get the pop up, perfect. And when I bring this in decorated card, all I did here is I added a die cut panel to the underneath here in mirror card. And that only goes about so far up into the card so it doesn't make it too bulky in there. And I just added pattern paper and uh, sentiment on the front. And then on the inside, as you pull this out, you get that flip. I love that, I love it when it goes quickly. And I've just put a um, dimensional layering peacock die set in there as well. Um, so this is attached, as you can see, to the bit that pops up. Um, just make sure that when you do this, if you just lay this down and tuck that inside, just ensure that whatever you've got popping up will be hidden just under there. So you don't see that until it pops up. So have some fun with this template. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. And we would love to see what you make over in the Craft World Inspiration Gallery.